Welcome, viewers. Here comes the food. We're just out here sailing in San Diego on the sailing vessel Jada. Is a catamaran a style a boat or a make a boat? It's a style. It's, it's a two, style. Two hull is a catamaran. Uh -huh. uh, three hulls is a tri hull. It's a catamaran. Or like this one's a mono hull. Right. How long have you been a captain? Uh, I've had my license since '91. It's been a while. So you must enjoy it. Does it take long to become proficient enough to get your license, or? Well, you have to have uh, two years of sea time, mm -hmm. and that's 365 days constitutes a year. So you have to put a lot of time in the water yep. before you uh, apply for your license. It doesn't matter how long you're out every day, but you just you got to be out every single day. Well, not necessarily every day. You just have to accumulate that. Oh, you have to accumulate so that many you, hours? Uh, days. Okay, so days. It's usually eight-hour days. So you can be out for four hours and do like so. It doesn't have to be accumulated over the course of the year. Right. But it just needs to be accumulated over time. That many days in a row. And half of the time, you can go back to the age of 16 years old. So you can count. Right. You know, a lot of time. A long time. Yeah. Except uh, but the other half has to be recent. Yeah. Yeah, the size of the boats you work on determines you know, the type of license you can apply for and that type of thing. Yeah. Whoa! -ho. Woo -hoo. 
Cut down my axes, rough seas ahead. <laughs> And now, would that be what it's like out on the ocean if we were out there, or not, right now. not so no, rough? No. Most of this is a little short stuff from just uh, other boats. When the sails are aloft, they give the boat a lot of stability. Uh, even in the roughest conditions, you can put sometimes a pretty smooth ride on a sailboat. Yeah. More so than a power boat. You're actually using a whole bunch of air to help stabilize yourself. How long is this boat? Uh, 65 feet. 65? 1938. Wow. When they made them well. Are boats like anything else? They don't make them like they used to? That's about it. Make them faster. Yeah, look at the linkage on what steers the boat. I mean, that's a work of art in itself. Yep. I know on the Illinois River where I live, uh, boats coming uh, down the river have preference over boats going up the river. Yeah. Is, there, is there a similar kind of thing here when you're just meandering around in the bay? or? Uh, not necessarily. It's, uh, it's a big enough bay, so you can just, it's just uh, standard right away rules. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's uh, rule nine. So sort of if we have a big ship, Navy ship coming on, they. You can only maneuver in the main channels. So right. You just can't impede them. That's a pretty bad gimbal you've got there. Thank you. It works really well. Uh, Whoa. Yeah, it is. It does great video. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Yeah, that is a stand. Oh, I've never seen anything like that. U.S. Naval vessel. Uh huh. Bob Hope. The Bob Hope? The Bob Hope. I think it's the biggest supply ship that the Navy has. Uh, yeah, we're, take, we're bringing sandwiches up, Justin. You might help them bring. Yes. Are the Navy vessels in and out often, or do they stay for pretty long periods of time, generally? Uh, they're, they're kind of active. Uh, they'll come, leave on a Monday, go out for maneuvers for the week, come back, unless they're going out on deployment. Uh -huh. That's right down here, uh, sunk by outside of the bridge, you'll see a lot of Navy vessels down there. That's the home uh, right. part of the Pacific Fleet. Yep. Okay, you got
That's a big boat. Hi, Coco. Sorry. I wasn't even watching for comments. I wasn't expecting anybody would be here. But I do see your comment. Welcome to San Diego. past 11 on that side. Okay. It's pretty did, much, but... I did that once. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I do that. It's an eight feet of water I, with I, six foot draft. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know where it is. Uh, oh, you yeah. grass is out. Looks like the wind's pretty good, so it'll be able to tack right back uh, through the uh, arch here. Right? Cool. This is, under the bridge. this is called the Coronado Bridge? Coronado I think Bay Bridge. Coronado Bay Bridge. Coronado, bridge. Coronado San Diego Bridge. <laughs> Do you happen to know how tall it is? Uh, I mean, or how much clearance you have? It's about... Jared, do you know how tall the bridge is? About 200, 400 feet? Uh, I, I know that uh, all the ships can pass under except the aircraft carriers. Yeah. I don't know how tall that is. You know? I think even the aircraft carriers can get underneath it. They just don't have enough drafts in the channel down here. So, oh, really? Yeah.
Cut a quarter for me. Oh, nice. That's it. Any idea how much a boat like this costs? Oh, this boat did like four hundred million. I think it's not a market value. No, it's bigger. It's only worth what somebody else is willing to pay for. That's true. <laughs> do, you, do you have any idea what it might have sold for when it was brand new boat? Oh, I don't know. That was back in back in thirty-eight or whatever. Yeah, thirty-eight. Sixty thousand. Yeah. That was a lot of money back then. Oh yeah. Sure was. A lot of money now, but it was really a lot. Then. Pack means turn? Yep. Am I going to be alright here? Slick the way you did that.
Yeah. Well, I'm trying to find you a little sweet spot. Yeah.